The special advisor to Governor Willy Obiano of Anambra on indigenous medicines and herbal practice, Dr. Nyeka Chuku Ibezim, said that the government has identified six herbal drugs that could be used to manage coronavirus in the state. Dr. Ibezim told journalists that the agency had forwarded their products to the National Agency for Food, Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ. He added that a team of medical experts was assembled to review the process before they decided to take the products to NAFDAQ for its final confirmation and approval for public consumption. Ibezim said that the products were in capsules, uh, powered, powdered and liquid forms. He urged herbal practitioners in the state who peddle different types of herbal products without seeking approval from the government agency in charge of herbal products to desist from such. Um, Dr. Onyeka Chuku Ibezim, the special advisor to Governor uh, Willy Obiano, Herbal Medicines, now joins us. Good to have you, Doctor. Good morning. Now, t tell us more about this homegrown solution, so to speak, to COVID-19 drugs that you have in Anambra State. Well, um, the homegrown solution we have um, is um, a product of the um, structure that we have for indigenous medicine in Anambra State. Because we have our people registered and we know what they can do. So before the advent of uh, COVID-19, we already had plants that had uh, antiviral properties, a lot of them. Uh, we were able to um, group them. And uh, in, the, in my office, we have a team of uh, researchers, um, the Dean of Pharmacy, Namda Zikiwe University, the Head of Pharmacy, Anambra State University, with um, other um, researchers. We, we, we've been on it. We've been on various drugs for various ailments, both viral, bacteria. As you all know, the use of uh, herbs. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can please go ahead. I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Yeah. The use of herbs um, has been on for ages. Um, Chinese drugs, Nigerian drugs, um, and I, I hope recently everybody knows of the Madagascar drug, the Artemisia anea, which uh, we also even have in Nigeria here. So ours is um, home-grown um, herbs, herbs that are um, not so common per se, but they are, they, are, they are available here, but people overlook them. But my team have been able to identify them. And because we have a screening board, a lot of harbor practitioners in Anambra State, because we know them, came up with what they have. But after proper scrutinization, looking into their mode of production, they passed a, a, a lot of rigorous certification through the Anambra State Indigenous Medicine Board. Uh, which will work hand-in-hand uh, hand with my office and the Ministry of Health and Ambra State, we were able to tap her down over a hundred and something have our products to the six that we are pushing now. Mm -hmm. And um, as I'm talking to you now, the uh, Zonal NAVDAC office is with them, and they have also... Um, looked into what they have, both through their processes of production and others. And they have seen um, that it's, um, it's no gain saying that these drugs uh, helps will actually help. Mm -hmm. We have a liquid solution. We have dry uh, uh, powders. And uh, one of the products is even in capsule. And the processes of the production of the capsule is, uh, has been going on, even for other drugs. Now that we have COVID-19, we have been able to tap it down 
um, to COVID, uh, uh, to coronavirus. Dr. Ibezim, are you hopeful that you're going to get approval from NAVDAC? Well, my team has been having approval for uh, other helps in the states from NAVDAC, and this, this same team that is moving on. So we are very sure that um, NAVDAC, because we have six, there is no way they will um, reject our six. Hmm. If you look at them, the processes, these, the, the producers of these uh, uh, herbs, they know the do's and don'ts of uh, NAVDAC. Hmm. So we are, we are much, much hopeful. All right. Still on coronavirus, let, let's even look at Anambra State. It seems to be doing well in terms of the management of the virus based on the records uh, that we have. Can you share some of the measures being taken? What is the secret, if we may put it that way? Well, the, the secret of our doing well is in Anambra State is proactiveness. Because um, Anambra State, um, by records, um, is one of the first states in Nigeria, if not even in the world, that set up a COVID-19 team headed by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Anambra State. When um, the NCDC uh, were preparing, Anambra State had already gone into action. And we, we were, uh, the general team was broken down into sub-teams. Sub mm -hmm. We had the mobilization, the community mobilization team, the research team, the treatment team. And we... We, we, we aligned ourselves with what WHO was doing even before the NCDC. All right, Dr. Ibezim, so, uh, before I let you go and still on the drugs, let's go uh, quickly to the drugs. Just help us clarify, are there side effects? What should people be worried about, if any? Well, um, herbs, for herbs, if I may tap it down, side effects of, uh, are you talking of the herbs? Or are you talking of the drugs that are being used right now? The drugs, the herbs that you have sent to NAVDAC for approval, of the six sent to NAVDAC. Well, um, herbs na naturally have a very, very high safety margin. Because even the vegetables, the, the um, onubu, the bitter leaf, and others, are, we, 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 we know them to have um, medicinal properties. And these have um, high safety margin. So we don't expect any side effects. Uh, yes, untoward effects may be there, but then not as much as when we use chemicals. They are natural products. All right. Essentially, you're saying there's nothing to be worried about. So we'll get there. But once we presented, we have also um, gone through our own testing. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we've not gotten any for now. All right. Thank you so very much, Dr. Ibezim, for joining us on News on the Hour. And do keep safe out there. Thank you.